Hello and welcome to another week of energy readings. And it's not every day that we can start an episode with an old 80s classic. I light my torch and wave it for the new moon on Monday and a fire dance through the night. The 80s were awesome, trust me, I was there. Anyway, this is not about the 80s. We have a new moon on Monday, that hence, hence the song, and, um, and a solar eclipse all on the same day. Before we go into the overall energy of the week and um, the individual star signs, um, the question needs to be answered, is it actually a good thing that we have a new moon? And the answer is yes, absolutely, because new moons can help you uh, finding your purpose. So pay attention, uh, you need to or ought to probably communicate with your guides to see if the path you're on is the right one. So it is also a, a time of, of reflection, uh, see where, where you are. And the, the, the solar eclipse, which occurs at 7.30 p.m. here in the UK, you have to Google your time slot wherever you are in the world. <laughs> um, they are quite good, or this solar eclipse is quite good in the, in the sense that it actually focuses on relationships, both um, romantically and um, platonically. And here's the dog again. Every time we record a video, he comes in. Isn't it, Charlie? Hmm? Isn't it? Anyway, let's go into the overall energy of the week. Let me feed him first. So, let's have a look at the overall energy for the week ahead. Right, huh. not so great uh, overall energy. Um, what that means is I work with, with spirit animal guides um, and you have the polar bear, the parrot and the seahorse. Um, in short, what is going to happen this week is that um, people, uh, very likely, will actually try to misunderstand you. So uh, make sure that when you, when you have a point to make, make it as efficiently as you probably can. Um, you're already losing a little bit of space and, and you know, um, uh, capability to, to maneuver around issues. So people want to misunderstand you. What is it, what the most important thing, energetically speaking, this week, before we go into, into the individual star signs, is to make sure that you have space. It's really, really important because people are misunderstanding you and um, trying to put you into corners and maybe even talk down on you. It's important to have a little bit of me time and, and, stay, and stay clear of situations that are difficult, right? Um, so the overall energy is, is, is one of caution, I, I, I uh, would say. And now we go into the, into the individual star signs. We're still in Leo. The next um, video will actually start with Virgo because we're moving out of Leo uh, on the 23rd. Anyway, let's have a look at, at the individual star signs starting with Leo. Right, so um, for the Leo people it's important to remember that this week uh, you have to be, anything you do this week has to be calm. Um, nothing too strenuous and nothing too um, tedious either. And also, things may come to you this week um, that you're not ready for. And so if there are new things coming to you, including, you know, speaking of the solar eclipse, a new, new relationships and the likes, um, it's always easy to get carried away, isn't it? Especially the first couple of weeks. <laughs> um, what, the, what the message here is, is to, is to be, um, detached is the wrong word, but, but be a little bit, be cool about things. Don't give 100% yet. Um, you know, just, just feel your way around, around things. So that's the thing. The other thing is that you are quite protected in speaking your truth and in uh, making decisions this week. But um, calmness is, uh, has to be your motto for this week. Okie doke. Moving into Virgo. Good news for the Virgo people. 
you have a week that um, allows you to explore loads of different things. Um, where you kind of go like, I haven't done this before, but I better give it a go. So you can be quite adventurous this week. And also, you have a week where when things are difficult, um, you will manage. So this week is going to be quite easy uh, for you uh, to adapt to the situation. So um, in short, you really got nothing to worry about this week. Um, apart from the fact that, that, that the overall energy isn't so great, um, but you will be just fine. Okay, moving into Libra. Interesting. Again, we have the topic of uh, being misunderstood. So uh, again, you can see there's already ha a pattern here happening for for the week. So uh, Libra, you will also very likely be having moments where you are um, where people misunderstand what you're trying to say. They're not getting you the points you're making. Uh, the good thing is, and this is not a, a, about ego, um, but the good thing is that you see the world the way it really is this week. So uh, your uh, um, advice is actually quite sound. The problem is that not everybody is capable of hearing sound advice this week. So make sure if people are not listening, there's no point giving advice really. So, so hang back a little bit, okay? So that's Libra going into Scorpio, drawn to another deck entirely. Right, self-love is the, uh, the overriding uh, energy uh, this, this week for, um, for you guys. Um, you have to understand this week that you're really, really precious and that you have to um, really look at how you treat yourself and how you're being treated. So that's, that's the most important thing. So, so this is a week for uh, reflecting. Um, how your life is going, where you are going, where are you in the scheme of things. And then make sure that you have a, um, a bigger part to play in your own life. Okie doke. So um, that was Libra, wasn't it? So we're going into Scorpio then. What about Scorpio? That was Scorpio, was it? Mm. Yeah, okay, we're going into Sagittarius then. Short-term memory isn't working here. <laughs> right. So we're going into Sagittarius. You sure? Yeah? You absolutely sure we're going into Sagittarius? Are you? Good. Right. So, Sagittarius. You have the brown bear and the grey squirrel. What that means is that you have to be in your uh, feminine uh, side. You have to be very soft. Um, you have to have a lot of understanding and uh, empathy and compassion this week. This is a week because, again, remember the overall energy uh, is a little bit heavy and people uh, and situations cannot be easily resolved. Um, you, you need to be a little bit more understanding and caring this week. Uh, but also, for you people, it's a good idea this week to um, notice any ideas that you have. So, uh, you know, if there's something that you really want to do this week, um, giving it a go is, is perfect. Okay? Capricorn. We're not going to another deck. Right. So Capricorns um, won't have it easy this week in the sense that um, here you have the hunter of path and the hunter of strengths. So you haven't quite figured out probably um, what to do with this life of yours. Even when you feel like what I'm doing here is really me, there might still be some obstacles where you go like I'm not quite sure what to do with it all. And this week will be uh, difficult in that sense because there might not be... Um, you know, a spark, we go like, oh, that makes sense to me now, right? So the best thing is to um, just continue on your path, if you feel this is your path, 
uh, continue it, but um, don't make any big decisions this week. That's the most important thing. And also, as you um, allow yourself to uh, hang back a little this week, um, you are going more and more into your strengths. Right? So, so pacing yourself right is really important this week. Okay, do. So that was Capricorn going into Aquarius. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So we already know that there's a, a, an overall pattern this week that doesn't quite help. Um, no different for the, for, the, for the Capricorns. You have the Arctic Fox and the Raccoon. So um, as a fox, you are quite an old soul. Which makes, which makes a lot of sense. So, so you, you understand that loads of stuff that, that, that you're going through, you have gone through before. So therefore you don't really have to worry. Uh, because things that are being thrown at you this week, you'll, you'll manage just fine. Having said that, inside your issues, whatever problems present itself this week, um, you feel isolated and you feel like very alone in it. Right? This will pass. Um, and so the message is that you have to remember that you are what is called a shapeshifter. You can adapt to situations quite well. So this week, instead of um, you know trying to be um, forceful and, and maybe assertive, you, you, your best bet is to just adapt to situation and let the week pass by gently, if that makes sense. Right. Going into my favorite star sign, Pisces. Obviously, it's my favorite star sign because I was born under that star sign. Let's see what we got. Right. Okay. For the Pisces people, me and you, um, things from the past will come up again. Um, older issues can flare up, and maybe older trauma can be released. So, this is a week where. Um, you probably will be confronted by something from, from the past. And the, um, the point would be not to hide from it and not to try to wait it out, but understand if something from the past um, bothers you this week, um, make sure you deal with it. Right? Running away from it um, is not going to work. Okay? So that's, that's us Pisces going into Aries. Before we go into Aries, it's also interesting to uh, remember that the, um, the effect of this new moon can actually stay with us for six months. So, you know, a lot of things ha have happened, especially in August. I think every week I have to mention something <laughs> about the stars. Um, so, by, by all accounts, this has not been and isn't uh, an easy month at all. Anyway, let's look at, let, let's look at Aries. So, um, Aries have good news because you're surrounded by, by, many, by many guides. It's not going to be um, a week that is too difficult uh, for you. Um, but what is happening this week for, for you guys is you have to make sure that you at all times speak your truth. Um, if you are holding back and um, just not and, and, and smile about the situation, trying to pe keep the peace, people will think that this, this is your take on things and will walk all over you. you because you are actually ready for a new beginning already. It's just the overall energy is difficult this week, so probably doing anything uh, major this week is, is, is not off to a great start, so to speak. But nonetheless, you're ready. So, um, so be kind, be um, calm about things, right? Um, but also remember that people could see you in a different light when you are not forthcoming with your uh, true, um, true, um, what's the word? With your true feelings about a situation, right? Okay. Moving into Taurus. Whatever it is you're doing this week, 
just keep going. Um, a lot of the stuff that you're doing already will make sense to you, just, just keep going. It, it also would mean, because we talked about the solar eclipse and relationships, maybe this week keep the relationship alive. If you feel like there are issues and you maybe want to end it or something, um, give it another few days to see um, if this is really what your heart wants, rather than um, wanting out because it is uncomfortable, for instance, right? Um, also, you have what is called the Divine Rogue. So, um, you can actually be a little, a little bit cheeky this week. And so, so humor is a very good thing to have and to apply to situations this week. Okay, doc. Off to Gemini. So Gemini people, you are quite um, protected and, and steadfast this week. So there isn't much that can knock you this week. But um, as we had before in other star signs, um, the energy of uh, the situations and the people you meet is one of, of not quite communicating right with one another. So you too will very likely be misunderstood. Um, when you um, when you are in situations and when you are with people, so just remember, you know, um, wait it out, so to speak. Remember, you're steadfast this week. You will not fall. Uh, you will not fail this week. But uh, any important uh, communication and decisions uh, probably are for next week. Hopefully, we only know by next week, do we? <laughs> so, uh, and and then um, that was Gemini, wasn't it? I don't know where my head is today. So lastly, we have Cancer. Let's look at the Cancerians then. So, Cancerians, you are truly ready for a new beginning. Uh, so spread your wings and uh, and and go for it. Um, but you also have to have the feeling at times that you're quite uh, isolated and on, and on your own. And um, if you are a person that um, is disconnected from others, uh, it would be a good thing this week to hang out with friends and to be in situations where other people are, are part of it. So that this feeling of isolation is not quite as strong. Um, but um, cut a long story short, the future is yours. Uh, um, you know, and you are ready for new beginnings. And um, that's all we have time for. See you in a week.